Hi friends. So this video is to give you a general understanding on basic autoclaves. That is class N autoclaves or cooker kind of autoclaves and this kind of autoclaves. Most of us in India, Africa, Southeast Asia would be using a device like one of these things. The reason for that, they are cheap, they are easy to use and they are easy to repair. Now, what we fail to understand is the parameters and the protocol that we should follow in sterilization in this kind of autoclaves and getting the best results out of a basic autoclave. So here is what we should do. So I'll just give you some pointers. In a basic autoclave, there are basically five to six steps. So it starts with heating. First of all, you open your autoclave. You have to know what is on the top side of your autoclave. So basically you will have a valve like this. Some would have a valve which will open and close a weighted valve like this. And you'll have a meter, a pressure meter, something like this. If you're using a pressure cooker kind of autoclave, then you may have a float valve or a weight valve of this kind, just how you have in your normal uh, pressure cookers. The only difference along with this, you will have one of these uh, pressure gauges. Okay, so that uh, said about. To start with, first you put your water in your autoclave, basic about whatever, uh, about three or four cups of water. Uh, put the tray on and put your instruments on. See that you don't tightly pack the instruments. Pack them very loosely. If you if you do tie them in a cloth or something like that, pack them very loosely. Ideal would be to keep them naked, so they are not in any tightly packed situation because this is a non-vacuum uh, autoclave. Uh, so it would work. Uh, the the steam would penetrate based on the gravity. Okay, so start with that. Put your instruments into that. Once you do that, close close the autoclave tightly evenly from all sides and most important thing is before you start see that this one is open if you're using a pressure cooker type of autoclave you take this off when you start the heating all right so we've taken this off and this is open you start with your heating once you start with your heating, it takes about 10 minutes or maybe 5, 10 minutes, 10, 15 minutes, depending on the type of system that you're having. After that, the one most, most important step, which a lot of us skip, is to bleed air. So basically, what is bleed air? Inside your autoclave, there is a cushioning, there is a layer of air, which doesn't help to sterilize instruments. What sterilizes instruments is the steam. So there's air inside and there's steam inside building up as well. Right? It's a mixture. So you will find some air pockets where it doesn't go and penetrate into your instruments, doesn't sterilize well. So because of that, once it starts heating, we have to keep this open initially. After it heats up for 10, 15 minutes, whatever, like maybe after 10 minutes, you will see steam coming out of here. Or if you're using a pressure cooker kind of, you will see that there's steam coming out of here. Once there is steam coming out of this, then you close it so first heating second bleed air how okay how long do we bleed air one two minutes that should be good enough a little more and more or less depending on the steam quality if you see a lot of steam coming close it faster if there's not much steam if there's a lot of air you keep it for three four minutes whatever. all right so after you after you bled your air after your steam is coming up from here now you close it now you wait for it to pressurize because now the pressure will build up. It has not started as it. So once you close the valve, you will see that the gauge here starts to go up. Okay. And the ideal pressure that you're looking for in this kind of autoclaves is 15 to 18 PSI. So you have to touch it with 15 PSI. So once it goes on to 15, then if it is uh, this kind of valve, it will start to open up on its own with the pressure and it will let steam off a little bit okay in this kind of uh, uh, in this kind of autoclave the first one you will see that the whistle starts that is when 
you have got your pressure has started okay so as soon as you get your first whistle in this as soon as the steam starts escaping on this you start your timer now is the sterilization time so what we say 15 minutes sterilization time starts at number four from this you have to wait for 15 minutes at the ideal pressure will be here 15 to 18 psi and this will either keep on whistling off it is this kind of cooker it will keep on and off on and off the whistle will keep on coming alternatively if you have a timer here and uh, if you have a kind of what do you call that a temperature regulator it will regulate the temperature it will come on off on off the it will cut off the temperature sensor will cut off on and off so you might not see steam escaping from there but it doesn't matter yet. you have to keep it for 15 minutes this is sterilization for 15 minutes after 15 minutes are up then you switch off the, your electrical power or if you have a button here you switch it off now you wait for it to depressurize 10-15 minutes for it to depressurize cool down you don't want to, it to blow up in your face right so after it depressurizes if you're having a bulb here before opening this open the bulb always open the bulb before you open the autoclave if you're using a pressure cooker kind open the bulb again so now it is safe open it up evenly on all sides and now your process is safe so another simple way to check the validity of your sterilization of the autoclave is before you put all the instruments inside before you start the heating you get indicator strips like this so i will just show them to you later there will be indicator strips the color indicates if it's uh, if it has been sterile or not so along with your instruments like this one probably changes from uh, purple to uh, let me show you better this one changes from initial color before starting from purple to once it's successful to green along with your instruments place one strip inside do your sterilization process after it's up open the autoclave check the color if it's green then it's a success you're good to go your patients are safe and you're safe so no matter where you stay you stay in india you stay in the poorest part of africa you're a dentist in somewhere in indonesia i don't know where what equipment you have doesn't matter you're the master so keep your patients safe be safe thanks for watching